My room. Why? Didn't think she hated me this much. Oh, man. Fuck so. Oh. <sighs> huh? The child of the full moon. <laughs> the leaders of the ancients possessed an innate power and were called the children of the full moon. The shrine of Zaude received their lives and power. It sealed the Autophagus away, saving the world. <laughs> you have awakened. Duke. So it was you who saved me. I couldn't afford to have this sword lost to the sea forever. Okay. I still owe you my thanks. So the shrine of Zaude was power lives of the children of the full moon? Humans brought forth this and led it. Consider it atonement. The few remaining children of the full moon, together with the Antilochea, decided on how the world would be. The Imperial family are their descendants. So that's how the Empire started. And that's why that sword, the key to Zaude, will prove a true Emperor. As long as air is used, no one can oppose the Autophagos. For it is born of air itself. You wanted to stop the Autophagos, too. That's why you were going around calming all the air crene, right? Correct. Why didn't you ask for help from the Empire or the Guilds? You could have stopped Alexei if you'd done that. I have aligned myself with the Entelikea. I have no intention of coexisting with humanity. What's more, the masses of humanity will never come to any accord. So... What are you trying to do? The Autophagos was too much, even for that ancient civilization. There is a way. You say you despise humanity, but what about us? Aren't we human? Why did you give me De Nomos? Why did you cooperate? You were the only ones who even attempted to communicate with the Entelikea. That is why. Never mind, it is done. Wait, what are you gonna do? I will protect our world, our Terka Lumeres. Hold on! Ugh. Damn it! Huh. Just like that, Dane almost is gone. <laughs> and so, uh, how's it going, guys? We are back with more Tales of Vesperia. I just didn't want to interrupt that awesome scene there um with uh duke and yuri of course but um after this episode boy oh boy we made six episodes six side quest episodes um there are going to be a rampant uh a rampant amount of side quests to be done uh i can say at least uh yeah about five episodes of Worth of a uh, side quest, so uh, get ready for that. Estelle, repeat. Yuri! <laughs> she jumped on him like he's my girlfriend. Look at his face. Hold on, hold on. I gotta take a snap. I gotta snap. I gotta snap that. Look at his face. Oh, a Yuri, it's really you, right? You're not a ghost or something. Oh, good. You have a shadow. Wow, she's so good. Bruh. Yeah, I'm living. And yeah, that hurts. Thank goodness. I'm so happy.
had to take I had to take it. I had to Repeat take it. Repeat <laughs> just rushed out all of a sudden. I was so surprised. Mm. Wow. Thanks. I'm fine now. Is that wound from when you fell from Zauda? Hell no, that wound is from that bitch Sodia. Huh? Oh yeah, I guess so. Why is he why did he not tell her? I can't tell you how happy I am. Sorry to make you worry. I wanna go tell everyone. They'll be so happy. What's everybody doing? Rita went to Zauda with Judith. She said there was a lot to study, being ancient ruins and all. That's Rita. Patty's helping out with repairs on the Fiertia, too. Carol and Raven went back to Dongrest. It seems that relations between the Empire and the Guilds are worsening again. Uh-oh. They're still like that? Supposedly, it's because of Zaude. They went to make sure the Guilds didn't do anything rash. First Heracles, then that. Guild or not, people are gonna be on guard. It's troubling Yoder as well. And Flynn is being Flynn and going off to all corners of the world. <laughs> Everyone's working hard. They thought they should do what they can, even without you. Yeah. Because we knew. We knew you were alive. Hmm. Even Flynn took ships out to look for you so many times. I'm so sorry. But thanks to you, I'm all fixed up. Why is nobody saying anything about? I mean, why isn't he saying anything about? So I get that I, I that they didn't see it, but he knows he got stabbed by Sodia. Why didn't he say anything? Like Sodia's an asshole for that. You should still rest today, Rita, Carol. They can all wait a little longer to see you. <laughs> As you wish. Staying with me tonight. Hey, she she pulled she pulled one of them girls from Persona Three. Now nah, won't, won't you stay with me? No. Okay, okay. okay. <laughs> Estelle, repeat. Sorry to worry you. We were stuck on top of Zauda. We couldn't get down. But Flynn and all the rest of the knights managed to help us. Huh. Sounds like everyone had a pretty rough time. But we're all safe now. All of us. I'm so happy. <laughs> The air crisis, Duke, the Autophagos, we still got a mountain of problems to deal with. Alexei unleashed something terrible. I'm tired of all this freeing the world nonsense. Just what is the Autophagos? Who knows? A catastrophe. It can't be anything good. <sighs> Guess I get to fight a big one this time. It certainly is. So, you're going after it? It doesn't look like I'll have a normal life if I don't. A normal life for everyone that's why we fight yeah that's enough right yes it is I thought I heard a familiar voice <laughs> it's really you thanks everybody don't go taking that young lady around everywhere she must be tired what do you mean Estelle were you using your power she fixed up every wounded person who came back. We're all in her... If there's anything else I can do, please let me know. Nice to see the lower quarters back to normal. It'd be perfect if only that thing in the sky weren't there. Don't worry. Leave it to brave Vesperia. 
There you go again. And just how are you gonna close up that hole in the sky? Hey, if anyone can do it, Yuri can. Yeah, he never makes promises he can't keep. That's far enough. Now you, what do you want? <laughs> now you. <laughs> I say, take a look at this. Huh? A warrant? For me? Just Yuri? I say a knight's duty is to apprehend the unlawful. So I'm the only one with a bounty on my head? Nobody else? That has nothing to do with the matter at hand. <clears throat> we have a proposal. Return to the knights, and this all goes away. Yeah, that has to be Dojima. What? Someone high up is making a fuss about leaving you to do as you please. So... Yeah, that's definitely Dojima. You'd feel better putting the reins on me. Now you've got the idea. <sighs> huh? What? Where? Bruh. Hey! It... So long, everyone! Take care! <laughs> Just as I thought, and I wouldn't have it any other way. Yeah, that's definitely no dream. I can hear it now. Let's go! Arrest that man! Arrest that man! This hill's pretty brutal. Those knights are amazing. They are tenacious. <laughs> Yuri! <laughs> Where the hell did you come from? Oh, Patty. Where did you come from? Right! Yuri! Thank the Seven Seas! I knew you were still alive! Yep, still kicking. Somehow. <laughs> Somehow. Hey, oh. you look like Judy Boots. Huh? Judith! Hey, you oh. look like Judy Boots. Huh? Hey, Judith! Hell yeah. Still, I just came to get you. Where's Rita? Fine. Rita's in Ospio putting together all of her research. You'll come too, right? Yeah, if you don't mind me catching a ride. Then let's go. Sorry to make you worry, Judy. My heart was about to burst from worrying so much. Yeah, right. Hey. I really mean it. Wait! Not again. Just once. Just once I want to take it easy when I leave someplace. Right. Goodbye, knights. Get back here! All right. And we got some new music as you, as you can hear. So let's check this kid out. Seeing the Autofagos just there in the sky, it's horrible. Yeah, to think that catastrophe from the legend was hidden up there all along, it's creepy. It just showed up in the sky out of nowhere. All the people must be so worried. I'd rather see what we're up against than let it grow out of control somewhere hidden away. Your spirit is amazing, Judith. It might be a good thing to have the danger right out in front of us though. It'll bring together people who'd never get along otherwise. True. When you can no longer deny the Autophagos exists, all that's left is to face it. Now, I noticed that the dog map stuff is, uh, up way... Or are they saying I can go in there? That's probably what they're saying. Well... Anyway, so we want to head into... And if I was to drop down right here, a um, a giganto monster will actually show up and try to kick our ass. But <laughs> he don't want no problems with us. Trust me, he will get his ass beat. But um, hmm, I need treasure hunt, huh? I'm really glad to see you're still breathing, Yuri. Sorry that I made you look for so long. The first one who found him, though. Right, last we were delayed. Are you really treating me like some pretty bot to be picked up? You're the treasure I've always been looking for. Oh. Wow. Now that's true on multiple levels. Wow. No special meaning. 
I mean what I said. Indeed, you are all treasures to me. And now we're off on another treasure hunt? Exactly. We'll have to be quick and be sure nobody gets to our loot before us. Aye. <laughs> that was pretty cool. Now... I could go into the adventurer's uh, little end thing, but I'm, I'm gonna wait till... Oh my god! I was clicking my thumbstick and it just and it did not want to work. All right, so remember what I I I don't know if I'm gonna queue that up because we gotta find Rita first of all. But there is um something we can get once we get fifty percent in our collective. Eureka! Jesus. Rita, Yuri is. Wow. Did you see her? We're more invisible to her than a camouflaged cuttlefish. Huh? It seems like she's blind to everything but her research right now. I can't really blame the people here for treating her like such a weirdo. She looked so happy. She must have discovered something. I hope so. Let's go and see. Secret of Yuri 1. How did Yuri survive falling from a height? That. He was he was over the sea. Maybe sushed him out. I took the Yertia everywhere to look for him, but he never turned up anywhere. Maybe he drifted ashore somewhere? <laughs> well, he is Yuri. <laughs> right. As long as he is safe, that's enough. Aye. Alright, we need to get Rita. able to calculate the force field stability coefficient so Rita hi this one said hi see she blushed in where the hell were you I looked all over for you you know uh, sorry about that <sighs> well whatever I don't have time to argue about that I have something very important to talk to Estelle about to Estelle I may have found a way to control the behavior of air Really? That's great, Rita! I learned lots of things when I investigated Zaude. Like, how we might be able to apply the techniques used there. However... That is related to Estelle's power as a child of the full moon? We need to interact with the air to make it freely according to a formula. This is something only Estelle can do. Uh, <clears throat> If only I hadn't given Dane Nomos back. Did you meet Duke? Yeah, he saved me. Well, he said it was so he could recover the sword. That sword's different from the moon. I doubt it could be a substitute. But that control formula you used on Estelle, that was to control the power of the child of the full moon, wasn't it? Yeah. So if we're going to control the air with this theory, we have to release the control formula on Estelle. So... If everything goes right, we control the air. Grew up, the air will get even worse and the world will fall to the Autophagos. Is that about right? That's quite a bold plan. Aye, it's a plan as bold as jellyfish stuck in shallow waters. Uh, sure. Let's go with that. Anyway, I'm sure it'll be fine. Estelle, believe me. Lend me your power. <sighs> Are you scared? No, I'm happy. I might still be able to use my power to help others. Rita, please let me know if there's anything I can do. So what exactly do we need to do? Well, I'm not completely finished working everything out. Give me a little more time. Okay, we'll go see Carol and Raven while you figure things out. Great! I'll go too. I've got all the materials I need in my head. I'll let you know when I work it all out. All right, me hearties! Let's get going! <laughs> Right. Now, um, like I said before, uh, um, like I said before, 
Glad you're safe. Oh, if he was safe, the least he could have done is let us know. That idiot. Yeah, if we'd known he was Bless okay, him. we wouldn't have wasted all this time looking for him. But we wouldn't have you? known he was all right if we hadn't looked. Which is why he should have let us know in the first place. I mean, we looked all over. We'd be too worried about him if we hadn't. You were really worried, weren't you, Rita? What? Thank goodness you're safe, Yuri. Yes, I'm so glad. And just look how happy Rita is. Hap! Are you happy? <sighs> See, that's what I mean. That's exactly what I mean when I say that. Now, like I said, there's a monk here that it's going to be a conversation with Rita and Estelle. Huh. Love this song. Damn it all. Thanks to all the earthquakes that they are. Excavation sites. I think they are in this library, too. I think the recent earthquake is supposed to blast you on the map. That earthquake is clearly the reason I can see. I can see. Wow, my calculations make no sense. The recent data is so bizarre. Data is important, it means something. As a matter of fact, let me see what my cooking looks like with the rice ball. Huh. Looks like everybody's mastered it so far. Well, we don't have Raven with us right now. But... Yeah, good dad. Chris, I want to see if you want to Guess it's no use asking that. Something like a giant shadow on the sky itself so, seems so simple. A method for controlling the air, huh? I hope it goes okay. Yeah. If it doesn't, we'll have to keep our end of the bargain with Pharaoh. <clears throat> so shouldn't we stop it right away? There's no real hurry. I'm sure they'll do fine. Yeah, they can handle this. <laughs> I have faith in them now. <laughs> As you can see it, but it's like a, it's starting to like what's the word? It's starting to like uh, you know, day and night. Damn it! Why did I have to do it? That was the Dawn's grandson, Harry, right? 
part. I can't believe you! You should have told me you were alive! Sorry for worrying you, but I'm back. Well, aren't you tough? <laughs> that's my boy. <laughs> he said that's my boy. Hey, I said Yuri was my boy first. Bruh. I ain't handing him over to you, Patty, darling. Bruh. <laughs> if you're both done messing around, <coughs> you just saw Harry. Did something happen to him? Uh, there's been just a teensy bit of trouble. The Union's kind of a ship without a captain right now. So the people won't come together unless there's some kind of core. Or that's it! Huh? What's it? I've got it! Apatheia! It'll work if I use Apatheia! So even if the air stability coefficient keeps changing, if I connect one of those... Hold on, forget the explanation. We wouldn't understand it anyway. <laughs> oh, okay. The apatheia we gave to the Dawn should still be around, right? That was Bellius's apatheia, the Cyanosiel. Rita's found a way to control air. Really? Cool! Do you know what happened to the Cyanosiel after the Dawn died? Um, nope. What about Harry? Shouldn't he know, being the Dawn's grandson and all? Good timing, too. I was just about to take him back. Go to the Union headquarters. We'll be back there soon. The atmosphere is kind of strange. Yeah, the Union is falling apart. Because nobody wants to step in to take the Don's place. And the Don's heir ain't quite up to it. Come on, don't hang back now. I was the one who led Grandpa to his death. Someone like me could never become a man like the Don was. Nobody's saying you gotta become a man like the Don was. We're just saying you should at least show up to the succession meetings. Hey, do you have the Don's epithea? We'd appreciate if you could give it to us. Bro, look at Rita with her mouth go, with a, with a hand over her mouth. Like, yo, Rita, could you like dial it back a little bit? Like, you could have eased into that. No, nah, Rita just jumped straight in there. Like, damn. Wow, that was quite a fastball, Rita. That epithea belongs to whoever succeeds the Don. It's not given to outsiders. What? Well, when will they choose a successor? I don't know. Don't ask me. Well then, who should we ask? That boy's a real piece of work. <laughs> Who's gonna protect the city if the Union isn't? What? That would be our guild, of course. Talking of whose guild? I know that you sent in your Clouds of Dawn members to Zoth. The Union has never been outstripped by the Empire. We cannot sit here and risk falling behind. <laughs> wow, that's DC Dark. I say it was imprudent. It could have been taken as the Union's hostile act against the Empire. In that case, we would defend our honor on the battlefield. And who will be leading the battle? The Clouds of Dawn? If the Dawn got wind of that, he'd burst out laughing. So why don't you boys in Altos throw your hat in the ring? Maybe then we'd see just how unpopular you really are. This is ridiculous. Continue as you please till the world comes to an end. But don't bring up a war between the guilds. This isn't a joke. Hey, I've got a great idea. Let's just set a bit of driftwood in the Dawn's chair. A hard existence being worn down by the waves lends it the exact same air of dignity. My, how ingenious. Yeah, you just keep talking. It's all right to be helped by your friends. Protect your friends and they'll respond in kind. That was the last thing that the Dawn said to me. Carol. What? Who's this kid? 
I can't do anything by myself, but I have my friends. Because my friends are there for me, I can do anything. They're still there for me, even now. Why isn't that good enough for the Union? Boy is right. The best thing that the guilds ever had was their ability to help each other. There is always a way to deal with things, even if you aren't some great big leader. The Don told you that from now on, you have to walk with your own feet. You know how to walk on your own feet, don't you? You make it sound so easy, but actually... Let's go. I'm gonna get sick if I have to stay here any longer. Uh. Hey, you, wait up! <laughs> what about the Apatheia? If you've got enough spare time to be hanging around those idiots, you'd be better off using it to think of another plan. Another plan? It's not that easy. You'll be able to come up with something if you just don't sleep for three days. Why is it on me? Here. Look at Patty Ice. <laughs> Are you giving this to us? No, this is going to be stolen. What do you mean? I owe you one. Get a move on before the others realize it's gone. To what do we owe this generosity? I don't know. Maybe it just left a bad feeling in my stomach to get lectured by a kid like that. Maybe there's some hope for that boy after all. So, now that we've gotten the Apatheia, what's next? Next up, we're going to the Zophair Rift. I'm going to use the unactivated air crene that's there. The Rift? We're going someplace cold again? Mind if old Raven waits here? <laughs> You'd rather be cold than have the world be destroyed, wouldn't you? Let's go. Alright. I'm glad you're safe, man. I'm so glad Yuri's okay. Horror! Are you kidding? The Atafagos, the whole world going nuts? There's no way that kid would miss this. You weren't worried, Raven? Eh, maybe just a little. But guys like him keep getting up, no matter what happens, so... Nah, I wasn't too worried. <laughs> you really believe in Yuri, don't you, Raven? Aw, oh, you're gonna make this old man blush. As you can see, that's you, Saren, right there. He's right there, but we're not gonna talk to him just yet. He should—he was right there. I just noticed he, that was him. We're gonna talk to him much later, though. I—I I just want to check Oscar one more time. Something. I just I don't know. Cause I know there's supposed to be a scene that happened. Ah, excuse me. Oh no, excuse me. Here, you dropped this book. Oh yes, thank you very much. The collector's book, eh? Yours contains an impressive amount of data. It seems you found lots of rare items. This is quite intriguing. Oh, it is? Rita's always saying how we haven't found nearly enough. <clears throat> if it wouldn't be too much trouble. It, yes? Do you think I may be able to borrow this book for a short while? If I had one month, no, even two weeks, that would be enough. Please, please let me borrow it. Ah, oh, well. No, you can't. That's too long anyway. <coughs> Mordio, you know this young lady? Yeah. I know you don't want to hear this, but we can't give you a book yet. But why? We still haven't completed it yet. If you want to look at it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't a complete book be better? 
Anyway, we don't want to have to lend it to you every time we make an update either. <laughs> yeah, I see. Yeah. Then, once you finish filling that book, allow me to borrow it for a bit. Of course, I'd, I don't expect you, expect you to lend it to me for nothing. Oh, you don't have to give us anything. Really, it's quite alright. We'll bring it to you once we finish updating. <laughs> Thank you. My name is Giovanni. You probably already know this, but I'm a researcher. Okay, Mr. Giovanni. We'll bring you the collector's book as soon as it's complete. Oh, thank you so much. I'm looking forward to it. It seems that the Union is still in disarray. They relied on the Dawn for too much. They're probably scared without the guy who used to decide everything for them. I think I know how they feel. Constantly worrying whether or not you're about to make some big mistake. Well, I can't understand being so afraid of messing up that you can't decide anything. Wow, I agree with you for once. The Union has to do a lot of thinking for themselves now that they're without the Dawn. Isn't that how it should be? Absolutely. Alright, so we got the scene we wanted, and uh... <laughs> just all well and good. I didn't think it was gonna... I knew it would trigger in here, but... I was guessing maybe we had to get our whole entire crew back, and I was right on that. So, yeah guys, we're gonna go ahead and end it right here. I hope you guys, you guys better stay away, stay away, and stay away. Sorry right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and end this episode here. I'm loving the new music, as you know. We are indeed in Act 3 with the new music, and uh, we've got new battle music too. But you know what? Let, uh, you know what? We'll, you, I'm gonna let you guys hear that new battle music on the next episode. Yeah, guys, I hope you guys, please don't do it. Do not. Alright. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Ooh, let's check this out. Doesn't all that fighting ever make you tired, Yuri? Nah, I've got you here to heal me if I get hurt, after all. But getting hurt and getting tired are different. Don't you ever run out of energy? Hmm, I'd say swinging my sword gives me more energy rather than taking it away. You're like an over-energetic kid who runs around until he passes out. Of course, I've got more energy than a kid, so I can make that much more mischief. Ah, youth. I'm out of breath with just one swing. I wish I could go back to my younger days. Talk <laughs> about pathetic. Don't Burr. worry. Won't be long before you're in the same boat as me, kid. <laughs> I don't think that's Burr. too funny, old man. Well, until then, you can just sit and suffer in admiration of my youthful energy. That's the first time I've ever heard of someone suffering in admiration. <laughs> Alright guys, so we're going to go ahead and end it right here. Like I said before, we got like at least four or five episodes of side quest. Let's go ahead and buckle up for that because it's going to be really awesome. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but until then, I guess I will catch you guys later.